Hi, good day everyone. So today I'm going to share with you about deciding to become a positive person. Many years ago, I was really negative and pessimistic person. Most of the time, I look for the negative side of life. I complain and blame my circumstances because I'm not doing well enough in school. And most of my classmates didn't help me. I became so depressed about life and I began to compare myself to others. I asked myself, why is it that they are highly intelligent and I am dumb? Why is it that they are rich and I am poor? Etc. Etc. Eventually, as I dig deeper about my situations, I started to feel depressed, stressed and have sleepless nights. Until one day I made the decision to change my life perspective. Then I started reading positive books, hang out with positive, inspiring people that would help me meet my goals. And in my realizations, I began to discover that having the right mindset and having the right people is very important. And also the having the right attitude is very important because you can turn your negative situation into positive learning experience. As I started studying successful people, I also learned that successful people are people who fail the most. And the most interesting thing is that they're very positive, that they can achieve their dreams, goals, and ambitions in life. Now, I look at myself as incredibly optimistic. When I look at the situation, I know that something is great will happen. As I look back and the years went by, I become more positive and I made a decision to be more positive in spite of my negative situations and challenges in life. Eventually, I began to realize that everything happens for a reason. Everything is a decision. You can either be a pessimist or an optimist person. The choice is yours. You can complain, blame, think negatively for the rest of your life, or you can look at the brighter side of life to be grateful for the things that you already have and to learn something and also to learn that every failure gives you valuable lessons. So you can basically choose what you want to cultivate. Do you want to cultivate hatred, jealousy, anger, or do you want to cultivate gratitude, love, peace, kindness? The choice is really yours. As an introvert type of person, I'm very reflective, serious, and I can dig deeper about life. And most of the time, I reflect, I contemplate. But I decided to train myself to become more optimistic in life. I would like to share with you about the true story that really inspired me. Before you complain about life, I would like to share with you this very amazing, positive, inspiring, motivating guy named Nick Vujicic. You know, Nick Vujicic it's, is a really great person. When I read his biography and his life story, I was really touched and move because he remains positive and resilient in spite of his disability and situations. Nick was born with rare tetraamelia disorder which means he had no arms, legs, hands. All he had has two small feet and two small toes. Even though Nick which each life has growing up he is now a respected person all over the world. I talk about his life in front of a large group of people and he share about his life story. Nick's childhood wasn't easy for him. You know, he suffered mentally and emotionally. But in the faith of his loved ones and God, he was able to overcome his disability. At the age of 17, Nick started his own 
non-profit organization. Life without limbs. Nick Vujicic also talks about his belief in God and how God can help you overcome any disability with loved ones by your side to help you get through the tough times. Growing up, Nick Vujicic's life was extremely challenging. Nick often wondered his life was this difficult and why he was so different from the rest of the students. Nick tried to take his only life by drowning himself in the bathtub. Thankfully, he couldn't do it because of the love he had for his parents. Since Nick had no arms or no legs, he was the target of bullies and he fell into severe depression state. At first, Nick wasn't allowed to attend the mainstream school because of his disability. However, the rules finally changed and Nick became the first physically disabled person to attain a mainstream school. Nick Vujicic has achieved what so many things that disabled people want to achieve and that is to overcome this, their disability. Well, Nick has shown everyone that you can overcome every disability in the world with the help of with your loved ones and with the one that you love and also having a faith in God. Despite his disability, Nick has learned how to type. He has started his own nonprofit organization, business. Nick is also an author, musician, actor, and his hobbies include fishing, painting, and swimming. These accomplishments have given many people hope and help them realize that they can achieve many great things in life and never give up because with the help of your loved ones you are capable of accomplishing many great things in your lifetime. Nick has traveled to many places across the world and there are websites. There are many websites on how Nick has changed so many lives for the better by Nick traveling to different countries and speaking to a large group of people. He even spoke in Korean TV. He said that in everyday life we have a choice. We can be angry for what we don't have or we could be thankful for what we do have. You know, it's very, very inspiring how Nick inspired me to become a positive, grateful person. That message means if you are angry of what you don't have, you will not be disappointed. You will be very disappointed about life. But if you are grateful for the things that you do have, you will be a lot more happier in your lifetime. Nick has inspired so many people with his story and how you can overcome every disability with the love, with the love of your parents, with your loved ones, and have faith in God. Nick tells us how tough his life was and that he nearly committed suicide at the age of 10 years old because of bullying. Because of bullying, Nick fell into severe depression, stayed, and nearly took his own life. What I learned from Nick gives me a compelling reason to be grateful and positive. In everyday life, we have a choice. We can be angry and negative for what we don't have, or we could be positive and thankful for what we do have. My dear friends, I encourage you to be more positive, to look at the brighter side of life. Like in one day, you can decide to become miserable by a choice and just look at the bad stuff. But if you make a decision to look at the good stuff, that's what's going to happen. I hope that you become more positive because even in your, your worst situation, you're looking the gift that God is giving you. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.